Well, they finally showed up. So uh, we're going to need something to cut the zip tie. Just tied those up out of the way. Should just pull out. It'd be interesting to see the condition of the gasket. The new maths are in. We've driven a couple miles. So far, it's a success. I reset everything with Carly. This thing right here, it was pretty easy to do. You just plug it in, connect to it as a hotspot, and then I went into diagnostics. It won't work now because it's not connected. You tell it what car you have, what monitors you want to pull. Um, it wasn't working if I deselect it all and then just selected engine and motor, but when I select it all, then it was working. So I don't know if that's a glitch or what, um, but found like 15 codes, reset everything, drove it, and the only one that comes back is a fogging sensor. This windshield's been replaced. It's a Pilkington, but I think the fogging sensor is something up here that gets screwed up when you replace the windshield. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, so far, so good with all of that. Uh, no more limp mode. Then I went into coding, played around. You can now put the windows up with the remote, auto windows down with door open, um, turned off the iDrive warning thing that comes up in the US. All of the annoyances I have disabled. So uh, this is this is really cool so far. I'll let you know how things go. Look at that sunset. Those colors are unreal. The camera's not picking it up. It is red, orange, pink. It's beautiful. So we got the Cavs game going on here. Atlanta leads by one. We got mules and we're gonna watch this before dinner. So it's been a tight game. This is about as big as it's been here at the end. We got 30 seconds. Then this guy right there, Schroeder. Jesus, he's good. But LeBron's better. <laughs> Are the rear ones on or just the fronts? No, I can put them all on. You yeah, do it. You want the headlight flashers too? Sure. Yeah, see so here we, we're, we're disturbing the neighborhood. <laughs> Gary's in trouble again. Yeah. Uh, I'm with these guys. <laughs> You're gonna leave the numbers on the back there. What's that? I put the numbers on. What, what do you mean that? I'm gonna leave what, them what on? What does that mean? Fourteen nine eighty one. That's my state license number. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Okay, let's get the before and after. I'll get the before and after on this thing. Just get an explorer, Gary. Then we can drive around together. <laughs> the way you drive, oh my God. I'm going to order a new scanner. Ryan, you know, the, the new scanners that they have, you just put your zip on five board. Oh, is that why you're taking pictures? So that's Blair's, I think it's a 2013 Ford Explorer. It was an ex-police car that was damaged. He bought it at auction and pieced it back together. Uh, it is legal, minus the flashing blue uh, lights on the back on the tailgate. Everything else you're allowed to have red, red and orange, red and white, that's fine. He uses it as a uh, patrol car for his security business. So he came over here tonight. We went to Miguel's in F is it Forest Ranch, I think, for dinner. Uh, we sat outside, had some Mexican. It was pretty damn good. Uh, we got back here and watched some 70s show. Watched some 70s show. That was today. Maths showed up for the E60. We put him in there, drove it a few miles. No coach returned. It was fine. Drove it to dinner. Fine. Started it up at dinner and started home. And there we are again. 2,000 RPM, 20 miles an hour max in third gear. Um, engine malfunction, reduced power. So we got to a red light, turned the engine off, turned it back on. It was fine all the way home. I don't know what's going on. I pulled the codes again. I had the something high upper limit and low, high lower limit or something like that. Those are the same codes that came back when we thought the maps were bad. Uh, we got brand new ones in there. They're Bosch. 
And then there's something about an SBG generator. I think that's it, or SGB generator. Everything I Google comes up to Alternator. So I pulled the, the uh, test nine on the OBC and it's showing over 14 volts with the engine on idling, which is fine. So I'm not sure what's going on. I think we'll drive it a couple more days and see if it does that again. Maybe it's a fluke, maybe it's not. I don't know, that car is way too complicated for its own good. That's why I have an E39, but we'll get to the bottom of it sooner or later. Um, watch the Cavs game tonight, you guys saw that. Didn't show you the carpet today. I was real busy paying credit cards and scheduling stuff and doing emails and Facebook and E39 sort of stuff. New image on the uh, store page for the E39 Euro Dash. Um, bunch of crap like that. Tomorrow's Friday, we have parts arriving on the E60. We'll be doing a DIY on that, completely unrelated to the issues. Um, I think Nate's gonna come down. It'll be nice to see him again from Orange County. Uh, he'll help us with the DIY and maybe work on the existing, um, work on the headlights on there, see if we can get those polished up a little bit. It's going to be a busy day tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then on Friday. Good night.